Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. The following are the bearings are taken on a closed compass traverse. Lines are given. For the lines, the four bearings and back bearings are given. At what stations do you suspect local attraction? Determine the correct magnetic bearings. If declination was 3 degree 30 minutes west, what are the true bearings? First, let us see which stations are affected by local attraction. These bearings are given in reduced bearing. In the reduced bearings, the fore bearing and back bearing should be having the same value. For the line AB, the fore bearing and back bearing are different. For the line BC, they are different. For the line CD also, they are different. For the line DA, they are same. So, only for DA, the four bearing and back bearing are same. We are having 80 degree 0 minutes. In this case, we can say that the stations D and A are free from local attraction. The rest of the stations B and C are affected by local attraction. Let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter line, then bearings. Let us enter all of the bearings. In the table, let us add two more columns, correction and corrected bearings. We know that the stations A and D are free from local attraction. From the station A, these two readings are taken and from the station D, these two readings are taken. Since these four readings are taken from A and D, they will be correct. So for these four readings, no correction is required. We can directly enter them in the corrected bearings. We know that it is the correct bearing. This is the four bearing AB. Using that, we can find the back bearing BA. In the reduced bearing, in a line, the four bearing and back bearing will be having the same value, but only the directions will be different. So the back bearing BA also will be 40 degree 30 minutes, but its direction will be north east. Now let us find how much correction we have applied for BA. It is a clockwise reading because the reading is taken from the north and towards east. 40 degree 30 minutes minus 41 degree 15 minutes. We will get negative 45 minutes. We know that it is a clockwise reading and the correction is negative. So the correction should be in the anticlockwise direction. Let us enter the correction. We know that both of these two readings are taken from the station B. So same correction should be applied to BC also. This reading is taken in the clockwise direction. Because this reading is taken from the south, and towards the west. So the reading is in the clockwise direction, but the correction is in the anticlockwise direction. In this case, from this bearing, we have to subtract the correction. When we do that, we will get south 80 degree 0 minutes west. We know that the four bearing BC and the back bearing CB will be having the same value. So the bearing for CB is also 80 degree 0 minutes, but the directions will be northeast. Now let us find how much correction we have applied for CB. We know that this bearing is taken in the clockwise direction. From the north and towards the east, it is taken 80 degree minus 79 degree 30 minutes. We will get 30 minutes. We will get a positive value. 
we know that it is taken in the clockwise direction and the correction is positive in this case the correction is also in the clockwise direction we know that these two bearings are taken in the same station c so the same correction should be applied to cd also you can see that i have applied the same correction to cd this bearing is taken in the clockwise direction because it is taken from the north and towards the east the correction is also in the clockwise direction so to find the corrected bearing of cd we have to add these two when we add we will get 20 degree 0 minutes we have found all of the corrected bearings the declination is given as 3 degree 30 minutes west now we have to find the true bearings these are the clockwise readings from the clockwise readings we have to subtract 3 degree 30 minutes these two are the anti-clockwise readings with the anti-clockwise readings we have to add 3 degree 30 minutes when we do that we will get the true bearings now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.